a man provides for his family. He did it for the family, right? Ten even, but I can't go any lower and still respect myself. Each week we break down another Breaking Bad episode in order, and this week it's season three, episode five, Moss. I've got 18 details you might not know. Plus, we'll see what really happened when Walt gave Jesse his life savings to buy an RV. So we start with a surprise return to the pilot. I am awake. However, most of Walt's parts are different takes, and the footage is colored a bit differently. I am, I am awake. Dude, this isn't even seven grand, all right, my guy wants 85. This is all the money I I have in the world. You are a drug drug dealer. dealer. Negotiate. Negotiate. Buy the RV. They also reordered the clips. I am awake is one of the last things he said the first time around. Don pairing Don. It's 400 a bottle. Oh, in that case, I'll only have two. Combo's back. Man, I gotta ask. Why'd you get all the chest? This old dude, he gave it to me. What? He gave it to me. It's like his entire life saving. What? You're supposed to use that dude's money to buy an RV. Guy's blackmailing me. I can hook you up, bro. Do I need to sign something or something? Nah, it's like a no paperwork type deal. Come on, we gotta bounce. What? For real, yo, get it out of here. This flashback is Combo's final scene in the Breaking Bad universe. Combo, I'm sorry I left you out of my character goodbye videos, so I'm making it up to you now. I love this floor. Ted gets to humble brag about his heated floors. Contractor talked me into it. Once you try it, you can't go back. I was sitting at a stoplight minding my own business when the kid threw a bag of money through my window. Whatever, man. You owe me that money. I told you not to cook my formula. It ain't yours. It's ours. Plural, bitch. Manudine and I were just talking about all the blank this is. Pull this. Restrain this. And here's number four. You're escalating. You escalate this. By the way, there may be too many details, but as a community, we can catch them all. <laughs> no, no, I got it out of my system. I say we call it a night. Come back with a search warrant. I'm not letting the search warrant. Hank's RV obsession goes too far. I'm no expert, but I'm told that the people inside would feel Hank's body weight shift the RV. What are you? These two are the original Kettlemans, or Kettle People. The guy's VFW, he's cool. I'm gonna check out a couple more, then we're gonna call in the morning, okay? What do you say? Can't, gotta get home. Leave your balls in your wife's purse or what? <laughs> Gotta pack. Where are you headed? Texas. We're back to Marie being neurotic with four Splenda packets while listening to smooth jazz, continuing what we saw in season two. This episode was not directed by Johan Rennick. It was acclaimed director Johan Rank. Can you imagine how he felt when he watched this episode? I'm heading back out after this. I apologize in advance for this detail, but you can see that Hank is wearing underwear here. Get some sleep, Hank. Those RVs aren't going anywhere. The recreational vehicles, Marie. That's what they do. I spoke with Blanca. She said that Steven's going to El Paso. There's the only reference to Blanca in Breaking Bad, who we meet in Better Call Saul. You know that you can talk to me about things, right? You don't have to go through this alone. I made a decision. I'm not going through anything. I'd like to be included. I do not like it when you don't talk to me. The worst that you can do is shut me out. I'm gonna have doing some actual good out here, and all I get are these bullshit accusations. And I'm on to something, I know it. You understand me? You hear me? What exactly is this? That's another appearance of for motion picture use only money. A ploy to get me cooking again? Jesse Pinkman? How he could possibly produce anything other than a mediocre product. I am told his product was more or less consistent with the quality I had come to expect. More or less? You believe I have some proprietary kind of selfishness about my own formula. And he's right. Some sort of overweening pride, I suppose? Yes. This scene is a good example of Walt showing all his emotions on his face versus Gus being impossible to read. chemistry must be respected. The law is too important. Would you take a drive with me? This is Jane Parsons, who won this role and a day on the set from a video contest. But you, you're a man of the street. I've got a link to the video in the description. This sign isn't real, but this Google Maps listing is. At the time, this was an active laundry facility and the extras are real workers. They did artificially add the steam and dripping water for dramatic effect, though. There's just a solid concrete floor under this unit, so these two are just crouching and pretending to walk downstairs like mimes. What is this? Your new lab. As Brian Cranston has discussed, this is a seduction scene. Check out the name of the background song. Where, where, how did you know how to put this all together? Quite a lot of planning went into this. We certainly saw that in Better Call Saul. The answer is still no. A man provides for 
Sarah's family. This costs me my family. When you have children, you always have family. A man provides. And he does it even when he's not appreciated or respected or even loved because he's a man. Um, I really gotta head home. Skylar's starting to question her decisions and the luxurious amenities she was just raving about are now bothering her. You wanna take her? At dinner, she even trusts Walt to hold Holly for the first time since everything went down. Sorry, Hank, that's all DMV had. 29 early 80s bounders registered in New Mexico. Could you check again? Can I do it after the party? I'm in the water here. Gomi's cake is even more disrespectful than Hank's. Ah! It is once again. A chocolate chip cake like you wouldn't believe. Or hunch was right. One more RV. Most of this money looks real, except, oops, there's one. Breaking news is I am sleeping with my boss, and I don't know why. Wow. It's a lie. I, I um... I do know why. As wrong as I know it is, as much as I know I'm probably doing it just to make Walt leave me, it is the only thing in my day where I don't feel like I'm drowning. Let me just say that I'm half as qualified and twice the price of a therapist. He's the father of my children. And maybe what he did, he, he did it for the family, right? That is one enormous load of horseshit. You are now an accessory after the fact. You are culpable. Walt's birthday should have been listed as 1958, since his 50th birthday took place in 2008. Who's got your back here? Me. Good to see you. Please, uh, have a seat. This young man is prepared to offer you a sweetheart of a deal. 10% of all future profits from his solo venture. That's charity. Oof. Clearly, a mistake was made on the part of our mutual associate when he paid you half of Jesse's earnings. Take it. Belongs to you. Damn right it belongs to me. Spend it in good health. That is the last money you'll ever earn in this business. I'm in. You're out. Well, you, you're going to need that money laundered, right? What was our deal before? 17%. Now, that's a shade high. Now, mm. let's settle on an even 15. That's a nice round number. 5%. 14 is fair. 5. 13. 5. 12. For old time's sake, 12. 5. I'm a reasonable guy. It's a short-term deal. 10 even. But I can't go any lower and still respect myself. 5. And the hell just happened. You're my lawyer, not his. That's the way of the world, kid. And go with the winner. Aaron really threw that and nailed it the first time. Hi, I'm Hank Schrader I'm with the Drug Enforcement Administration. We're interested in an RV that's registered to your name and address. It was stolen months ago. Well, then I'm, I'm curious as, as to why the theft was never reported. It's such a minor detail, but they put one guy shaving another guy's head back there. Johan saw that for real when scouting locations and felt he had to replicate it. I didn't want him arrested. Who are we talking about, Mr. Ortega? My son. Gwyn Savage cast extras for the show and passed away from cancer, unfortunately like so many others involved in the production. What is this? Your channel members. My god. Shout out to my channel members. Say hi to our new members, Jason Luttrell and Next Gen Chems. Since you're so small back there, here's an extra shout out to the longest standing members. Dylan Ring Productions, Benjamin Anderson, Magnos, Hypertain, Dread Intuit, Saycap, Xylery, U23, Shelly Saves the Day, and Burbs. I really appreciate you. And thank you all for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Next week, the drama really kicks up a notch as the sun sets on the RV.